Hi guys, well, uh, it's the morning after the day before, and of course, it doesn't really feel any better. I don't know about you. Having said that, there was something to concentrate on this morning, and of course, it was the draw for the last 16 in the Champions League. Well, I did say out there, I wanted one particular club, and um, we ended up getting them. Uh, uh, Borussia Dortmund is who we play in the, uh, as I say, the last 16. Away first, and then obviously the return at Stamford Bridge. Just looking at the full draw, if I can just look here, it's uh, RB Leipzig, um, Timo Werner against Manchester City. Quite an easy one there for Manchester City, if I'm brutally honest. Um, I'll choose my eight now as it goes. I think City will get through that one. Uh, Club Bruges, who's the one I think that we all wanted. Um, very, very easy trip on the Eurostar. Um, uh, they will play Benfica, who were pretty much the surprise package, as to be said. Uh, the very fact that not only do they qualify, but they actually top their group, finishing above Paris Saint-Germain. Um, you know, quite incredible. Uh, Liverpool have uh, drawn Real Madrid. And of course, because they finished second in their group behind Napoli, they play the first leg at Anfield first. And AC Milan play Tottenham. Um, as we know, we won both our games against AC Milan, home and away. And, um, sorry, just going back there, between Bruges and Benfica, I think Benfica will get through that. Uh, so that's Man City and Benfica. Uh, Liverpool, Real Madrid, I guess it's either or, although I guess you'd have to fancy Real Madrid with the second leg at the Bernabeu. AC Milan, Spurs, I think Spurs, I think Tottenham will get through that one, I really, really do. Um, and then Frankfurt, Eintracht Frankfurt against Napoli. That one's pretty much in the balance, I have to say. If I'm going to have to put my name to someone, it'll be Napoli. Uh, Busch Dortmund, Chelsea, well, obviously I'm going to back Chelsea FC. I don't know why, but, you know, it's a tough game regardless. It's just for the first time ever. It's an opportunity um, for our supporters. Um, and I certainly would love to go uh, to see the Yellow Wall uh, at Duna Park. And, um, you know, just be nice. As I say, I've been to Schalke, Gelkenkirsen, 30 kilometres up the road from Dortmund. They're big neighbours. And that was a brilliant experience. I loved every single moment of that. One of my favourite away trips, to be fair. And um, obviously... Dortmund's a team that every season I want us to draw and uh, and we have so uh, yeah so I'm going to back Chelsea in that one and then Inter Milan against FC Porto well I'm going to go with Inter although I think that would be quite a tight one um, with the second leg in uh, Porto and then uh, finally the draw of the draw of the round Paris Saint-Germain against Bayern Munich now there are some really really good draws in this you know like draws that you would kind of think would be close to either a quarter or semi-final um, match up because of the quality of the teams as we know there's a lot of quality sides that aren't even in this 16 like Juventus Barcelona etc but my eight is Man City, Benfica, Real Madrid, Tottenham, uh, Napoli, uh, Chelsea, Inter Milan, and in that final game, I'm going to go for Bayern Munich. Um, and you know that that what that does, of course, that gives a pathway to somebody for a, an easier option. Because um, I wouldn't mind Benfica in a quarter final. Um, I'd take Tottenham if we had to. Um, Napoli, I'd take Napoli. I'd take Inter Milan. Uh, you know, and um, but it kind of for those eight, you, you're still going to have the every weight still left in, but it may have to be another weight, another long weight uh, for Paris um, in their quest to be European champions. Although I think the favourites are Manchester City. But you can't write us off in this particular competition. You know, cup football, that's what we're all about, really. Let's have it right. 
But what do you think? What do you think about that particular draw? Are you happy with that? Do you think we've got a good draw? I mean, as those teams were rolling out, it kind of was looking like we were going to get Paris again. Um, but we didn't. We got Bush and Dortmund. How do you feel about that one? Um, are you going to go? Um, and um, what do you think about the rest of the draw? Tough one for Liverpool. The English sides, Tottenham, I think they'd probably be reasonably happy with that. Man City are definitely going to go through. Um, and, uh, and of course, you know, ourselves, we've got a good chance. We've got a good chance. It's a tough game. Let's not, you know, Jude Bellingham, chance to play against him. Just be a cracking atmosphere, home and away, like, you know. But, um, yeah, so uh, Bush Dortmund, last 16, Champions League. And um, something to look forward to, of course, after this ridiculous World Cup. Speak soon, guys. As always, much love. Oh, and apologies for the last video, the amount of swearing. It was a bit OTT. Um, I'm not normally like that. But uh, I was, you know, pretty steamed up. And I still am. I haven't changed my mind on it all. I think it was a mistake to get rid of Thomas Tuchel. I made that perfectly clear. And um, here's what it is. But we support the team, we support the Blues and Grand Potter. And um, we move on. And of course, next up, it's a trip to the Etihad and Manchester City. Speak soon, guys.